<laughs> Welcome back in. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Don't forget to visit golftalkradio.com for all of our partners that make this show possible. We want to thank Black Lake Golf Resort. Check them out at blacklake.com and also 805-343-1214, the home of Billy Gibbs. So you guys don't be shy. Visit them as well. And we appreciate all of our partners that make the show possible. It's doing so great. Things are happening great there. I'm I'm proud to be there. The course looks great. Greens are great. It's kind of a neat feeling, man, when things are coming back, you know? Sure takes a lot of pressure off. (laughs) <laughs> That's for sure. We were talking about, uh, in case you missed it, the the segment just prior um, on our podcast. It'll be part five of the uh, January 12th show. We were just talking about the reality of, of drivers and swing speed and carry distances. And in there is mixed the LPGA average, the senior tour, and the PGA tour. So Billy was asking, they, they did drivers in this uh, a study they did three woods, five woods, hybrids, and three iron all the way up to pitching wedge. Did they, so they have seven iron in there. They have seven iron in there. What's the average? Uh, average loft of the seven iron is about thirty four, and uh, so when you look at a swing speed, like how far do you hit your seven iron on average now? One forty. Well, I would love to. I play it at the at the one forty five, one forty yardage when I'm out there now. Mm-hmm. It, it used to be at my best was one fifty five. So 155 with your 7-iron would be um, 100 miles an hour would be 154 yards. 100 miles an hour? And we're swinging drivers at 88? Uh, Are you talking balls? That's ball speed. That's ball, sorry. Wait, swing speed? No, it's swing speed. It's swing speed. How can it be faster than driver? That's what it says. I don't know. That's what it says. (laughs) That's interesting. What's the senior tour average 7-iron? Senior tour average... Seven iron. Well, maybe it's, you know what? Maybe the, the, no, that's not right. No. That's not right. But it must have the senior tour average seven iron or does it? Uh, senior tour average seven iron is 163. Jesus, no way. They're crushing it out there. 163. Carry. Yeah. 163. Well, and that's, what'd you say? Because of lofts now. So actually the average... Uh, if you go down, your average would be 138. Yeah, that you know that makes sense. 138. I, I read the chart wrong. So about 138. And they're once the senior stores are hitting 160 something. 163. Man, isn't that crazy? Well, I'm also much older than that. But you know, his seven iron is 34 degrees. You're right. That's what it is. His and uh, Bryson, Iron Bryson, 34 degrees. And that but makes it's sense. Also, it's also and it's and it's the seven iron length. So. so think about how long. I mean, how hard those guys swing. Yes. So I'm hitting my. So I carry one thirty five ish. Is you know, that's about, That's almost. Well, you know, I'm not playing much anymore. But that's about right. But it's. I still used to be when I'm at the one fifty tree or the one fifty marker. I always think I should hit seven because that's what it was growing up. And mm-hmm. it was, that was the seven iron club. Right. And now as I have to do that's now six iron golf club. I just know it. So. So that's probably even wrong there. My six iron, according to that chart, probably only goes 153 or something like that. Let's see what six iron says. Yeah, it's somewhere between and those, 147 to 152. Okay, that's, 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 what, that's six iron. That's what I'm playing it. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so that, that is what I'm playing it now. Yeah. And it's not what it used to be, obviously. Yeah. But the new clubs, they kind of go a little hotter. And uh, maybe this new uh, birthday gift could even that's be. That's funny because, see, you're like, I'm. I'm, and I know I'm you're a 10 club years, more than mine. I'm a I'm a me. step up from you on that. So mine's like 163 to 173, and it's so funny because I remember when 175. This is a while ago. 175 for me was like the median six iron yardage. You know, I I always tried to not go with the top right. yardage. Like, oh, I caught that one flush. You know, when I grow, it was a five iron distance. Yeah, it's so, funny how it changes I, I, now. I, when we play, I I always kind of go one club, you know, more than you. Yeah, or I mean, less, that's about right. So mm-hmm. what do you think One about... Uh, I love to know the wedges because so I'm always short. Five iron for you? <laughs> I play at 160, 165. Yeah, they got 161 to 173. Yeah, I can hit at 165, so that's about right. What about your... Uh, I bet then I have hybrids now. What about your pitching wedge? That's what's scary. I don't, I'm don't. i short all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's your... So they got some I play, wide I, gaps I, I, here. I want to have a 100-yard club, and at the, you know that... Now that's their that's lobs and sand wedges, right? Yeah. For the tour players. So when I hit a really good wedge, I can hit it like 105. Okay. But it always seems to be coming 90, 95. That's what it. See, they've got 97 to 109. That's, yeah. So it's I've I played a hundred yard club and it's just it, you know, I have to hit it really good. 
Yeah. And I'm not playing enough to hit it. So I'm, I'm now hitting nine irons, but then I flushed when I was playing the country club last time I played, and it was a 100-yard par three, and I took nine iron out and actually caught it perfect. Just yeah. air mailed the green. <laughs> just oh. gone. I thought I hit it perfect. That's a terrible, be right, that's a be terrible right feeling, baby. I'm yeah. saying it just like it was it was automatic <laughs> bogey. I that's mean it was it was in feeling. a spot where I couldn't make so it's kind of funny because I just caught it flush and it's like ah oh, could have hit wedge. <laughs> so when you're not planning on hitting it flush, that's sad in itself, isn't it? Oh well, it is when you're planning on miss hitting it to a distance. But well, I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if people really knew like if they knew what club could help them control their yardage more often, they would probably hit it more flush. Like, that's the saying of take another club. Yeah. Because we I fall know. into the trap of, like, okay. Playing my, your max distance. My six iron is 175. Well, I'm telling you right now, if I tell myself that, I'm, I'm in trouble. And you have to hit it perfect. Yeah, that's I'm in deep, deep, deep That's deep why trouble. most people miss short, and that's why they put yeah. trouble short. Most bunkers and ponds are short. Right. You don't see a lot of trouble long in many holes except for par threes. Right. So because no one flies long. Right. They have ego and talent involved, and there's too much of one and not enough of another. Yeah. And that's why they're all, people miss short. If you count your rounds, not you, but the average player counts the rounds, how many times that they miss long, you, they, you wouldn't have a dash, a, a, a nick on their scorecard. Maybe one or two times ever do they miss long, tucking long over the pin or long over yeah, the hole. Yeah, that's so, that's so true. Almost always. So if you, if you learn to miss, take, to miss long, You'd say five, six shots in your scorecard right there. You know what's funny? They Just missed long. Mentioned it, you know, when we were both long. working at Avila. That is one course where if you hit it long, you were in trouble. Yeah, you had to be. You, know, you, you, If you hit it over the green, you were done. In so many holes. On a lot of holes. You know, I mean, I, I think about... Two, three, four, brutal, right? I, five, you yeah. can't make pars. You know, six, you're, in, you're dead. Right. So you're dead. You were in the bushes. How many times we hit bushes. that back hill into those bushes? You hit a perfect five iron yeah. or something that back... Oh man, I used the to, bunkers, the bunkers behind nine. Yep. Those bunkers were ten, terrible. Ten to was get car in. path and out of bounds. Yep. So you're right, none of them. Eleven, you could kind of get away with it. Twelve is no man's land. Yeah, <laughs> short on twelve is no man's yeah. land. Great hole. Best, yeah, one of the best holes in the county. Yeah, there were not too many holes. I admit, that might explain a lot as to why my, uh, like when I play and, golf, and why my strategy was so long different. you couldn't hit long anyways. Right. <laughs> the oh God. <laughs> oh, you just said. The, you got to kill it to get it to Hey, the... I got an idea. Let's build another tee back there. Yeah, let's there. go back to 265. <laughs> For a par three. <laughs> Those are always kind of fun days, But though. it's interesting to know. So good advice for players. Now try to miss long. Take more club than you really... Let... Don't get your ego out of the way. And he, I, I yeah. love Bryson named his clubs. Yeah, I like that, You know, too. he must know yardages, and he, I don't think he has the biggest gap, as you just mentioned, like it goes from 160 to 175. He probably has a two or three yard gap, but oh, that, those that's guys, my, that's my gamma. Those guys, <laughs> those guys are so finite that it's 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 yeah. scary. Give me Jackie. That's Jackie. You know, it's that's, just scary. That's how what he does with his caddy. Give me Jackie, or that's a Jimmy. Give me Jimmy. And the guys playing with him must love that. What the hell's a Jimmy? <laughs> well, that's beautiful. When it you is. think about it, it's beautiful it's, gamesmanship. I, I think people should tape over their numbers. You put a little lead tape or something over the idea. numbers. Because I play, depending, it's by feel, you know how I play, but I kind of look up and, and, and it's kind of like you get with a release and just got, you know, kind of pop one <laughs> yeah. out. No, I look up and I get a feeling that to me, I, you know, I could hit seven iron one, you know, 125 or 145. Yeah. But I, it's like casting a fly rod or something. I, could, I, I feel it go. Right. So it's not so much scientific because I don't make the same move. It's yeah. more of an art. But it's it, athletic. But I've got a different zone because yeah. it's all feel. So I just I could, and now I'm painting new pictures because I don't hit it as far. So yeah. I have to, but uh, that's how I play. I look at it. That looks to me like I, I get a rough idea how far it is. Yeah. Because we grew up playing with the bushes, the, the one twenty. But and you know what? And that's a lot. And that's a lost art in itself. I've, I've, you know, you take someone, and and again, I'm Nikki thought I was picking on her when I said this to her. But there's a couple times where we've gone out and played, and I, we've talked about it on the show before. I said. Uh, for a lesson, we should go out and play and, and don't don't use yardage finders. No, no range finder. Don't use any range finders. She's like, what? And I'm like, you need <laughs> to learn. You need to learn your feel. You need what to develop your like. feel. You got to learn what it feels like. Like trust your gut on what you see. I couldn't agree. I agree a hundred and ten percent. And because two forty or not two forty is a bad bad yardage. One forty two. One forty two from from <laughs> four different fairways is a totally different shot. And it might look different to somebody, yeah. you know. So. I th I, you're absolutely right. And I, when I play the kids, they, they all use range finders. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, what if you can't? I mean, no matter what, yeah. they're up there within a wedge. I know it's wedge or sand wedge. They, right. And they're getting exactly, okay, that's 91. Yeah. And it's, 
And it's like, I'd love to see how they play without it. I know, it'd be cool. Maybe I should just be good advice. Are we almost done? That's our show. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. We hope you have a great Saturday, a great weekend. And uh, stay dry. We'll talk to you next week. We'll come back with how to play in the wet weather because I have a feeling all next week could be wet, according to Mike. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for the present, buddy. You're welcome, buddy. And if you think you know what Billy was talking about, go to golftalkradio.com and fill out the trivia form. You could win some McPhee's Grill gift cards and other Golf Talk Radio prizes. We'll talk to you later.